Hi, my name is Mario, and this is a quick review of boxes one and two, April, uh, excuse me, May and June, of Birchbox. Birchbox is this cool service where um, they've been doing it for women for a while, and they just started up with the men's line, with the first ones being shipped in May, and this the second box shipped uh, in June. And it's 20 bucks a month, and they ship you a box of goodies um, for men's, um, well, that meant goodies that men would like. Um, and uh, what those are are going to vary, and actually there's a lot of variety in the first two boxes. So first I'm going to talk about box number one, which was what I received um, previously, um, last month in May. And then I'll talk about box number two's items. But first about the box. So you receive it, it's really nice, opens up. And I've already, it's not an unboxing, I've already used these products, but things are wrapped in tissue paper and sometimes there's other boxes inside. The whole thing is put together really nicely. Um, it's a really nice experience when you open it up. Reminds me of when I first got uh, first got an item from Gilt, and I appreciated the extra packaging and the extra touches to make it feel special. Um, they also include things like this, which is a little postcard. It includes information about all of the products that are in that particular um, set, and there's some fun facts on the other side. Um, I really appreciate this. I like the little write-up and the price point of, you know, what would that cost me if I was buying it um, directly from Birchbox because um, I liked it enough. So uh, that's a really nice touch. It also tells you what's in there. Now, what you get in the box varies. Now, I've gotten four things in each of my boxes, and with the first month in May, I've seen some other, uh, some other videos and some people who've had five items. There was apparently a shave gel in there from uh, Zier, and I didn't get that. And so I don't know if my box just lacked the fifth item, and I didn't get it, or I wasn't supposed to. Uh, compare that with uh, the second box where there was a ton of variety, um, different people got diff very different things, um, so I know that you know I got exactly what I was supposed to, four items, um, but you know I, I don't know about the first one. So uh, it's not clear, you just sort of get a box of goodies and, and hope you like it. Um, you do take a survey when you first sign up for the service, and they, you know, things like sizes and things you prefer, um, so they try and match you up with things that would work for you. So I appreciate that. Let me talk about the items. So first I'm going to talk about richer, poorer socks. So I have been introduced to Happy Socks, which is another fun sock company. And uh, this is kind of on the same lines. Um, you know, they're full, full length socks. So you really get, um, can use them all the time, unless it's, you know, summer and you're wearing shorts. Um, but they're a lot of fun. Uh, everybody receives different styles. Um, this has happened to be what I get. Uh, I've never had a bad comment about my socks. Usually they go over really well. People really love them when they discover I'm wearing some really fun socks. So I thought this was a great addition, especially a good first set, uh, first box edition um, that allowed um, guys who weren't familiar with, you know, wearing fun socks that don't match your outfit um, and wearing those and seeing, you know, when people discover that, the, the kind of uh, it's a positive attention you get. So I thought this was nice. They're very comfortable, nice pair of socks. I'd appreciate them more if I didn't already have a bunch. Um, next, we had uh, a cologne, and both boxes actually had cologne. Uh, I hope that continues. I think every box should carry uh, a sampler of cologne. This is 1.5 milliliters of uh, Costume National. And um, the scent is, is fantastic. It's a little mini spray bottle, so it's great for spraying onto your chest, underneath your clothing, a uh, single squirt. Uh, but what's funny is, although I love this scent and I love the bottle, in my little card of notes for that month, it said, you know, dab, dab a little bit behind your ear and you're ready to go. And that was funny because it's not a bottle for dabbing, it's a spray bottle. The current month in June, its bottle was designed for dabbing. Um, so just kind of a, you know, a mix between the marketing, the copy, editor people, and the actual product that was shipping out. They couldn't have known, but a little, little side note. Um, the third item was a body bar, um, a scrub so uh, soap, basically, um, from Kiehl's Ultimate Man Body sc Scrub Soap. Um, great exfoliating soap, you know, worked well, scent was okay. Um, problem was it was beige in color, and if you're a guy, and maybe you're a girl watching this video, um, and you're, you've got a guy and you want to get this, um, you're thinking of getting birch box men for him, and you give him this, well, he probably has hair in his body, you know, chest hair, you know, maybe he's a real man. And that hair gets, on an exfoliating bar, gets on the bar. And if he doesn't wash the bar, which really, who wants to wash their soap? 
If it doesn't wash the bar, then next time you go to use it, or that gentleman, if you're a bachelor out there and you have a lady friend come over, and they go to stay over and they borrow your shower, they pick up your bar of soap and your hair is all caught up in it, it's disgusting. It's a major turnoff. So um, I actually didn't like that product mainly because it was the, a wrong color. It should have been a darker color um, to deal with that um, because it's such a strong exfoliant that it really grabs hair. Then the disappointment continued on my first box actually with something called Billy Jealousy Liquid Sand Exfoliating Facial Cleanser. Um, first off, it works really well. Uh, I thought it was a really good exfoliating cleanser for face wash. They say don't use it more than uh, once every other day. Really use it twice a week. Um, so I was pretty, um, uh, pretty happy with the effect of the product, but here are its problems. If you want to squeeze this product with one hand, I recommend two. The plastic is really rugged. You better own one of these, a little grit master. Um, I do some rock climbing, so I have this. Um, to build up your strength because it's just ridiculously hard. As a comparison, this is a random bottle of citrus degreaser. I use it to clean my bike. Really easy to squeeze. Comparatively, same amount of effort and like nothing. Uh, pain, really bad product packaging. The other problem with it, it smells like women's makeup remover from 1970. The type I used when I was in high school and I was in theater and I had to have makeup on and my mother used her makeup remover to get it off of me. That's what this smells like. No. So that concluded box number one, which was for May. Let's talk about box number two. So um, actually I'm gonna start off with, you know, there was another clone, another one. This is um, John Veritos USA um, out of, New York. Anyway, also a nice scent. Um, I really enjoy the clones, like I said, in each one. Uh, gives you a lot of variety and a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of, you know, testing it out. I've never gotten any complaints. I've also haven't had any compliments on either of the scents, but, you know, I don't have a lot of people getting that close to me. So, you know, not a good or bad thing. Um, I enjoy them though, and it's a good variety. The next thing I received is French. I'm going to attempt to butcher this. Carastase Homme. Uh, it's French. I don't speak French. Um, it is a shampoo, uh, shampooing um, daily treatment shampoo um, for oily hair, which I have dry, so not really a good fit. Um, but it's a little trial thing, which was not thrilling. But I wasn't unhappy about it. Why? Because Birchbox knew that they shipped the wrong thing. It should have been an actual bottle with more than one use. Um, all of these products will last at least a month, um, which is great. And so they already emailed me before I ever got my box and told me, I'm sorry, and we're gonna send you the replacement, the full size. So I thought that was really cool. I did try it out, um, good scent, um, worked pretty well. Um, you know, it, it's a shampoo. Uh, I'm not an expert in that. I don't have lush hair to, um, to compare it against. So um, I enjoyed it and I look forward to the replacement and I appreciate that um, Birchbox went and is going that extra mile when their uh, fulfillment department basically packed things wrong. Um, the next item I'm going to talk about is my favorite item actually though so far. It is the Issue Shave Gel. Uh, it's a company out of Australia. Well, I don't know if it's out of Yeah, it's made in Australia. And it uses Kwandong fruit and um, there's some other stuff, but I've got a weird blush so all the text is gone on mine. Um, but it's just a, it's a shave gel. But here's what's awesome about it. I say it's closer to a shave oil. It's a gel in that when you apply it and you rub it against your skin, it lathers up a little bit. But most of those come in pressurized containers. This isn't. You pop it open and it just pours out. And a lot, a little bit goes a long way. Um, which is great because this is going to last me a long time. I don't shave every day. Um, I don't have to. So I choose to shave every two or three days or um, and I go through this and you put it on and it creates the lather, but the lather doesn't stay. It's more of like an oil in that um, it disappears. So if you're the kind of person who maintains like a beard every once in a while would have a beard and so you're trimming lines and trying to match that all up. Um, this isn't the best fit for you because, well, you don't see it, right? The, the foam goes away. So not, not uh, the best if you're using that as your like line marker. Um, but other than that, if you're doing a full facial shave, felt really good, the scent, is really nice. Um, and like I said, it's like an oil. I think the, the more you're into shaving, the more you'll love this product. Um, it's the one product so far that I actually would consider buying. 
and I might. Um, I really, really enjoy this shave gel um, product. The last item is uh, Rumba Time. Oh, let me get, uh, there we go. Um, here it is. It's a watch. I was kind of uh, really, really ecstatic to see this in there. It's like a gadget. I'm not a major gadget guy, but I'm a guy and I love gadgets. So I thought this was pretty cool. It's a silicone little watch band, which kind of slides over your wrist. This is their larger size. Um, I'm actually already sweaty underneath this thing because obviously it doesn't breathe well. There are some of the design elements to kind of help it breathe a little bit better and not too weird, but this is their larger size. I wear a large glove and it's still a little awkward. I don't know if you can see that. There's, you know, the fit isn't great. Uh, it's a fun color. Um, it's a basic digital watch, has a, some other features, stopwatch and stuff that you're never gonna use. It's really hard to work with. Incredibly painful to program. Um, I was, my excitement for this um, quickly was the, the best I ever got was when I saw it in the box and the worst I ever got was when I finished reading and learning about it. Um, it has three features, the clock and its features. The ability to have um, a, a prepaid Visa card with really good rates, uh, aka you can use it without any fees um, by just loading it from your bank account. Uh, you know, maybe put 50 bucks on there. And you can swipe it. McDonald's, 7-Eleven, a bunch of places have those little, looks like a Wi-Fi symbol on the card reader. You can get this, you insert it in here, and when you're out and about, maybe on a bike ride, you can just swipe that over when you're going to get a Gatorade and it pay for it, comes out of the card, no problem and you didn't have to carry your wallet around or a separate larger card. So I thought that was a really cool addition. Uh, unfortunately, when I went to sign up for it, um, halfway through the sign up process, uh, Visa's like, oh, I'm sorry, there's a server error. Do you think I'm gonna go back? So uh, not thrilled with that experience. There's also an emergency number so that if you get hit, like I'm on my bike and I get run over, that would be bad. Um, the emergency people can see this number to call it, give them this code, and then be presented with uh, medical information about me as much as I've decided to share with that company so they can share it with EMS and other individuals. Problem is, because this looks so much like a watch, I don't think an EMS is gonna know that this is here, and they're never gonna deal with it. Now, I don't have a lot of health issues or anything to worry about, um, but if they don't know about it, and they probably don't, it's useless. So it's a bunch of semi-useful things that the overall experience is don't like the feel of the watch, the pay wireless crash when I try to sign up for the little Visa prepay card, and nobody, uh, if I was actually in an emergency, would know to use this number. As a comparison, on my other hand, I actually have my Rode ID, which is, um, they have the same thing where you can dial up, but it's a single purpose. It's a band. I actually have some on my shoe as well, and it has my name, date, um, birth year, where I live, contact information people, my blood type, that I'm an organ donor, a fun quote, and that uh, NKA, which means uh, no known allergies. So it's all the medical information, and it's very clear on a band. I love this. There's no way an EMS would see this and not go, hey, there's information on here that I can use. It's clear that that's the case. So if they're not familiar, they can use it. This it looks like a watch. So not great. So those were my four items. This has been a quick preview of where to go. There it is, Birchbox. Um, have I gotten my money's worth? I'd say it's 20 bucks a month. And $15 is probably, you know, essentially what you're spending, five bucks, imagine, for packaging and shipping. Am um, I getting 15 bucks worth? Um, meh. Uh, it's about there. I mean, I'm not super thrilled, but I'm not disappointed. I'm still subscribed. I'm still doing it for another month. They're getting better. Uh, they've been doing this. It's hard. Men's, men's um, care is really difficult um, because there's not as many options. Everything that a guy can do, uh, women do as well. They shave, they clean their face, whatever it may be, but then they add in makeup and other things that guys don't do. So it's a, it's a bit trickier. Um, they're getting into their stride and they're making a strong effort at it. So I'm gonna stick with them and see how the rest of the boxes go. Speaking of uh, sticking with it, if uh, this goes well, I'll make more videos with the future boxes and I'll produce them a little bit better. Other than that, my name is Mario. This has been Birchbox. Um, if you want, down below there is information about each of the uh, products, a link to sign up for Birchbox. Uh, it is a referral link. I'm not, you know, no, no lies there. Uh, if you do sign up through that, I get 50 points that I can use towards buying products from the Birchbox. Um, so if you use that, I appreciate it. Um, but I thought I'd be upfront and tell you that that's what that's, the, what that's there. Uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.